Hello everyone, it's Nagin Atasavian, visual artist and illustrator. Uh, Tehran Correspondence, uh, it's a male art project. It's about the struggle that people uh, from the third world countries have to endure in order to travel to another uh, country, particularly Western world, uh, such as the visa rejected several times having to prove uh, financial and professional stability in order to uh, get a visa even for a short trip. And it's all uh, to prove that they are not going to stay illegally in that country or break any rules. So you are considered as criminal unless it is proven otherwise. And for immigration, it all would get more complicated. So the idea of this artwork is to visualize the process of what happened to the person during this immigration. The struggle they have to, in order to get the visa, get the permissions, pass through the borders, get to the new society and found out some important parts are missing. Also, in order to be coherent, as a whole again they have to put all these pieces together all over again in the new society some beliefs are not working in this new world and some of them are useless so they are forgotten and uh, the thread the glue that put all these pieces together would be hope for a better future would be love and care of the loved ones and family would be uh, finding freedom I photograph myself as someone who is getting ready to go to a party with a flower uh, in hand for the host as a gift and then soon she found out that she's not invited. She has to wait uh, in order to get permission to pass through the border and get to the party. And then uh, I did some digital artwork on it that I used uh, my, uh, my dot journal or time archiving journal style on it because it's kind of a process of um, documenting um, the time and feeling in time so that was so related and then um, I made them into postal cards with this uh, process of experimental and just accidental um, so I put them all together I add some collage and I wanted to post these postal cards and I was wondering if uh, all of them would get to their place but because of the pandemic and all this I don't know economic change in the world now the postal price from my country sending to international places is just insanely high that it doesn't make sense in that uh, picture, I put uh, this gun, um, what do you call it, gun shoot uh, marker on here because pointing to that, as long as you are from a third world country, you consider to be a criminal and uh, you are under threat or you are considered as a threat unless it is proven otherwise so it's like your personality come second and your nationality always comes first that's funny because in your own country you kind of forget where you're from because everyone are from the same place anyway but when you go abroad every day kind of you remember that you are from this country and you love your country. I mean, uh, what kind of a person could not love their own homeland, right? It's sad because it's like everyone somewhere hates your grandfather. <laughs> Even if he wasn't a great person, he's still your grandfather. And you wouldn't be happy about that.
the process of immigration is a huge struggle itself apart from the fact that it is so difficult to immigrate it's also so difficult to let a big part of your life go uh, your family your friends all history you have living in a place born and raised in a place you are attached to a lot of things and you don't realize that until you want to leave and then you realize that you cannot actually take everything with you and uh, it all makes a hole inside you and you have to go through many process and uh, it's like you are sending your, yourself piece by piece as, as I showed in this artwork like uh, postal cards um, like sending a life over border piece by piece and then the original image um, is scattered into pieces at the end when when all the pieces moved out you would realize that some pieces could never pass the border so you wouldn't have that piece those pieces of puzzle of this puzzle of you so sooner or later you would put all these pieces together and uh, become a whole again uh, so that's uh, that's how I decided to make this piece into the postal card and send them one by one through the border and then put put it all together in the new life make this new combination based on this experience no I didn't think that all the postal card would pass the border and that's the point because uh, even when we pass the border we don't necessarily take all I've made in the old life so if some part it was okay if some part of the postal card never get to the destination as I ex expected to me it has some different uh, aspects on one hand you are limited by timing by space place with a limitation in life but on internet you can go anywhere in the world you want you you can communicate with anyone you can learn from everything and you have access to a lot of resources for free uh, but also on the other hand that is totally depend on the user how to use the internet in a good way or in a bad way so i may say the difference between physical and uh uh physical and internet freedom would be your choice in reality you have limited choice but on internet you you can be whoever you want at some point and it is your choice if you want to control them again this control could be prevent a lot of crimes and on the other hand it could become censorship itself and i'm glad that uh, internet makes us able to communicate this well um some of the most amazing experiences in my life actually happened in internet so um i can say i'm a fan of it anyway <laughs> I just want to thank uh, Nimi Art Center for this amazing experience and I'm so honored to be shown in this exhibition and uh, to be a part of it.